10 to 9. We can stay with castles, maybe spooky castles now, because Halloween is almost upon us. Yes, and our next guest will be right up your street if you're into the scary and the supernatural. Because from being visited by strange beings to unexplained poltergeist attacks, the presenter, uh, Danny Robbins, has heard it all on his podcast, which is called Uncanny. Uh, it's been so successful on audio, on BBC Sounds, that it's now become a TV show as well. And we can have a look. Oh, oh, we're a bit scared. We're a bit scared. Danny joins us now on the sofa. <laughs> and weird things have started happening in the last couple of minutes. Our auto key went down, <laughs> yes. literally, as we said your Cameras name. Cameras failed. And you just told us something's happened weird out there. The fridge exploded. As I walked past, the contents of the fridge disgorged. Milk went everywhere. Danny, is this you? <laughs> <laughs> What's it going on? that follow me. It, what, what? It's, I mean, it's interesting. I think, you know, we can often read lots of things into many, many things, but there's definitely, there is a massive interest in the paranormal right now. And I sort of feel like, you know, I'm tapping into something that a lot of us are really fascinated by. And, you know, making this programme, making my podcast, I've received so many messages from people who've had experiences, strange experiences. And, you know, sometimes they are mundane. Sometimes they involve fridges or things in your house, but they can be frightening. And, and you know, it's the tip of an iceberg, I feel. I feel like there's a lot of people out there having very strange experiences and they haven't known where or how to talk about it and we're trying to create a safe space where they can. What you do that's quite clever <clears throat> is, from what I've seen so far, well, you present both arguments, don't you? <laughs> so it's, it's very balanced and we never feel that you are coming down on one particular side or another. I think that's quite important, well, isn't it? Well, I am I'm genuinely torn. I always say I'm a sceptic who wants to believe. I would love it to be real. I love the idea of believing ghosts. But, yeah, so we have a, a, a team believer sceptic and a, a, a team... Sorry, a team believer expert on the show and a team sceptic expert. And together they come up with their different theories and it's a sort of choose your own adventure, you know, like, what do you believe? And I always say that if you are a sceptic, then it's a how done it. You know, is it environmental? Is it psychological? And if you're a believer, then it's a who done it. You know, who is the ghost? And you want to hear from your listeners on the podcast, the viewers to the TV, you want their story. We're, we're totally, totally. So there is five minutes of each of these programmes that doesn't exist. You know, episode two, episode three, there's five minutes that isn't there. And that is what our audience will create. You know, we want people to send their questions, their theories. You know, there might be people who've lived in one of the houses we're talking about who had an experience there or had similar experiences. So it's interactive. I think of each of the programmes as the beginning of a conversation. We want to reach out and solve it together. What sort of stories are these people coming to you with? Oh, I mean, you know, I mean, they're profound, they're life-changing. I mean, the first one that we, we talked about in the, on Friday night is a story set in Cambridgeshire. It's a, a, a woman who grew up seeing a ghost, or she believed in her house. And then suddenly we realise it's not just about one person in one moment, it's other people in the house potentially had the same experience. The second one coming up this Friday is a poltergeist case. So that's things flying across rooms, noises in the house. In uh, the northeast, in the year of the miners strike, so fascinating backdrop, really frightening. And when, you, when I talk to the guy, you can hear the tremble in his voice. You know? and, and then the final case is a group of students in Oxford in the early 90s, Oxford University students living in this kind of horrible bedsit, and really strange, frightening things happen quite... You know, I mean, actually quite dark and terrifying, actually. And, um, and again, it's one of those ones where it grows and grows and more and more witnesses come forward. Um, I was struck by the, one of the stories you did on Friday night in the first episode, but the lady in Liverpool who said yeah. she was just walking down the street and, and sort of em entered a new dimension. So, so this really grabbed people. It's yeah. time slips, that idea that you're walking down the street and then suddenly around you, you travel back in time, essentially. She felt like she'd seen people from the 1950s appear around her, that the shop she was going into suddenly transformed from a bookshop into an old clothes shop. And... I'd thought this was an urban myth. It's, it's on Bold Street in Liverpool. Some people will have heard about it. But I'd heard this story about this off-duty police officer who'd gone in, met this woman, and both of them felt they'd transported back in time. I asked on social media, and this is where, you know, that really came into play, and suddenly I found this woman, and she existed, she was real, and she remembered the moment. And she was totally credible, that's oh, the thing. Yeah, it's yeah, the sort yeah. of thing that if, you, if somebody told you, oh, I heard about this story, you'd think, oh, yeah, of course you have. And, and but she, she was completely believable. Yeah, people often ask me, how do you know that people aren't hoaxing you? Mm. And, you know, the, you can never 100% know for sure, but when you sit with somebody and look into the whites of their eyes and you see the impact it has on them and see the kind of... You know, it's still a physical impact. You can hear it in their voice. So know. what could explain that? 
Oh, my. If I was team sceptic. Well, I mean, this is the thing. This is what it boils down to. So I spoke to a, a sort of physicist about that. And she, you know, she said, this is not possible. But you have a situation where you have an expert, a, a scientist telling you it's not possible. And you've got a person saying, well, it happened to me. And I think that's at the heart of the paranormal, these intriguing, strange experiences that we can't quite explain. And I guess my interest is I love the idea that we haven't discovered everything there is to discover about the world. I think about that amazing era of Victorian discovery, electricity and cures for diseases and new species. I love the idea there might be a final frontier out there, something to discover. You say you're a skeptic who would like to believe. Yeah. Have you had experiences, apart from our fridge this morning? Well, uh, <laughs> but, uh, have the, you had moments in fridge, your life where you've been me. scared? Uh, or... uh, so I, I have not had a ghostly experience, and so I live vicariously for the people that talk to me. But I had an experience in my early 20s where I thought I was dying. I was convinced I was dying. I, had a, I was lying on the floor, thought I was having a heart attack. It was actually a panic attack, something that lots of people watching will have had. But it terrified me and it gave me this profound fear of death for a long time afterwards, really kind of debilitating fear of death. And I think that is why I am intrigued by ghosts, the idea that death is not the end. And I think it's maybe why I empathize with the people in the stories as well, because I felt haunted by that for a long time. That was like my personal ghost, you know, that haunted me, the, the, the fear that sat inside me. So, yeah, I mean, I just, I love it. It's, it's a magical idea, isn't it? That, that death is not the end, that we do not cease to be, and that there's another layer of existence out there. And also that people we lost can contact us. I mean, what an incredible idea. Prepare to be inundated, Danny. Well, yeah, I, the <laughs> floodgates already open. We've yes. had hundreds of mails, and I, I just hope people will get in touch, not only with information about the cases, but also their own ghost stories, too. Are you sure? <laughs> You're going to be completely scared. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. There you go. You've been told. Danny, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, Uncanny, the podcast is terrific. The TV show is brilliant. It continues this Friday, 9 o'clock, BBC Two. It's also available on the BBC iPlayer.